Again, if you're quick to be angry, you're going to make mistakes, you're gonna deal foolishly. And this has to do with a lot of emotions, not just anger. If you allow yourself to just be, you know, really fearful, if you allow yourself to just to, to be influenced by too much emotion, when you make decisions, it's gonna cause you to make bad decisions. When you're extremely angry, that can cause you, that could cause you to make a bad decision if you act too quickly. And it's the same way with, with a lot of other emotions. So you need to be able to, um, and if you're soon angry, right? That's, there's a difference between, because if you, if you allow it to build up, you're already going to be thinking about how you're going to be able to deal with it when it gets to that point. But if it's just one, one moment I'm, I'm not angry and the next moment I'm angry, now you're making decisions on the fly. But if you're being long-suffering, okay, you're building up. Just like the Lord's saying, you know, we see many examples of God warning people, sending his prophets, and going, okay, look, you guys are sinning, you're doing wickedness, you know, think about Jonah, yet 40 days, and the Lord's going to overthrow Nineveh, right? He knows what he's going to do, and they've been being wicked and sinful, and God's been long-suffering with them, and it's just building and building and building to the point where God's about to destroy the whole city. He's about to bring his wrath down, and he warns them, saying, hey, if you keep this up, here's what's going to happen. But see, they listened, and that, that's the good news for Nineveh is that they heard, they repented, they got right with God, and God didn't destroy their city. But that's an example of how God is able to, you know, when it's necessary, he has wrath. And it's righteous anger, and it's righteous wrath, but he's not just every, you know, any little thing that, that, that is wrong, he's just flipping out about. And again, apply that to ourselves is how we ought to be. Proverbs chapter 21 Actually, turn to Proverbs 22. Proverbs 21, I like this verse. <laughs> Proverbs 21, 19 says, It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. So ladies, especially if you're looking to get married, you know, it's, the Bible says it is better for men to just go off and be alone somewhere. Like, I'd rather just be off alone by myself in the wilderness than to be with a contentious, a contentious means just always trying to fight, and an angry woman. Men don't want to be around that at all. And the Bible's even saying, hey, it's better. <laughs> it's better just to go off and, and go be alone for a while if you've got a woman who's just being contentious and angry. Um, not good attributes, obviously. I don't, I don't want to get too far into that this morning, though, but... It, it, it popped up as one of the anger verses, and I, and I kind of wanted to throw that in there. Verse number, or excuse me, chapter 22, where I did look, verse number 24, the Bible reads, Make no friendship with an angry man. So this is someone who is characterized by being angry, right? Someone who is quick to anger. Someone who is, has these attributes that we already saw are bad attributes. Make no friendship. Don't be friends with someone who's just real quick to, to be angry. Angry man and with a furious man thou shalt not go, look at verse 25, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. So when you have friends, when you become friends with people, they rub off on you, right? Their traits, you pick up on their traits, good and bad, right? They influence you. Your friends are always going to influence you on how you behave. I see it with my children. I've seen it myself. Friends that I've had over the years, you pick up little things that they say. You pick up some of their attributes, you know, the way that they deal with things. And then, and vice versa, people, it's just the way that God built us even socially when we interact with each other, you pick up different things from people. So when you're making friends with people, you see that someone's just an angry person, don't be friends with them. I could think of someone specifically that's a really angry person, and anytime this person spends time with other people, those other people end up becoming more like them and getting more angry. And it's, and it's not a good thing, and it's, and it's a fact, and it happens. So you need to be aware when, you know, when you're making friends, you see something like this, an attribute, you know, that's going to make you an angry person. Just, just don't be friends with people like that. 